from God. Amen. So that's what God showed me from the beginning. You're going to totally depend on me. See, you thought your best friends were going to with you. You thought you was going to have your, your aunts and uncles running with you. But that will show you who going to run with you. <laughs> and see, that's why now you look back and you smile because it's like, oh, God, you know how to do it. <laughs> see, I want you guys to understand. That's what it's like and when you have a wealth mindset, you're decisive. You're not scared to make a decision to stay in there. You don't care how it looks, you don't care how it gets. <laughs> See, some of these people you talk to, oh, I'm going to take it I'll get back to you. I'm going to give it to you. See, I want you to understand something. When someone has a wealth mindset, they're quick to make a decision. Very seldom the change of mind. First of all, when I saw this, what was there to think of? Yeah. Think about what? And for the fellas that's in the room, my wife wasn't with me. Mm -hmm. It didn't have to be. And it's going to tell you why. Because when it comes to financial freedom, for my kids, that's not up for discussion. I'm going to provide for this family. What do you mean? That's not enough for us to be. That's not being told to my wife. Because my wife has the right to make a business decision. But let me tell you why I never had a problem making that decision to kill. Because when my wife is in Lennox Mall and still small in Atlanta, yeah. <laughs> I ain't never heard her ring that phone yet. Uh -oh. <laughs> well, I'm over here by and it got a sale on these shoes. I wanted to know, was it okay if I buy a few pairs? I never got one of those phones. <laughs> So you mean to tell me you're going to have a long, drawn-out conversation now over $99? <laughs> I'm serious. We have it about the upcoming is true. When we talk about a long mind, so maybe it's a decision. Man in the house? <laughs> in faith that has now changed our lives because I dare to make a decision. Now, it's the world mindset we're talking about. Well, all right? Now, watch this. Let's look at the second claim. Uh oh Let's talk about the middle class mindset. Ooh, Let's see if this is the claim that's attached to your name. Uh oh Come on. <laughs> oh, that middle class, we comfortable. I'm okay. I got a good corporate job. I work with the auto plant. That's going to be here forever. I'm set. No, so indeed, I make $150,000 a year. What are you talking about with that little business you have? Right? Comfortable. Got it going on. Don't ever, ever, ever want to be uncomfortable. I want you to look at this preserving. Don't want to spend anything. Never want to invest. Just have a conservative lifestyle across the board. We talk about if this is your claim now. Savers never want to do any progressive investment. I have my 401k and I have this and I have that. You know, a lot of people that's been laid off, four weeks, four one k are gone. <laughs> Out of here. That's where everything was. Thought that was the way it was supposed to be. Never taking destiny into their own hands. This is what I want you to see. This is where I'm going. Analytical. Want to research everything. <laughs> want to look at it all. I want to share something with y'all on today. How can you Google your potential? Ooh. How can you Google? How can you let Google tell you how good you can be? Oh. What do you mean when you want to research? What does research have to do with God put inside of me? You want to find a way not to do it. Don't associate me with the losers. I don't want to know who didn't make it in the company because that's not the category I need to be associated with. Show me the winner. Oh, that's who winning? Well, this is where I need to be right here. See, I want you guys to understand something. You're trying to find a way to back out of something God has given to you. There's sometimes, like I'm telling you, you have to just step out and you have to believe. See, I knew what was put inside of me. I knew we were born winners. And I was willing to exercise that right 
that God has given me. He put me in a situation to win. Tell me what you're going to say something about challenges. You have to hear this. I have to let you know this. See, when you're being challenged, that's God's trademark to show you that he's with you. Most of you guys want to back up and you want to run once you're faced with a challenge. But let me tell you how you back telling me. You don't believe me? Ask Jesus when he was in the garden of Gethsemane. Boy, but who's just stuck the past Sunday? Be challenged. Right? Ask Joseph when he was sold as a slave. Twelve years. He was challenged. But it was for a reason. So that the Messiah could come through the twelve tribes of Israel. For the prophecy, prophecy to come through. See, God had positioned this man for this day and time. So I want you to understand, a lot of times, when you're put in situations that you have to believe that you're being challenged, it's not that God is not with you. No, God is with you. He's bringing you through to the other side.